Hi, it's Sean here. We're back here for Zen Garage TV. We're doing our Pulsar build for the Pulsar Challenge. We're with Bruno at Carline Mufflers. Uh, we're out at Mount Druid, so what we're going to do today is we're going to fit the exhaust system to the car. Uh, it's going to have a barracks muffler fitted to it, and we're going to have a two and a quarter pipe running back from the headers. So what we'll do is we'll just have a bit of a look at our granny stock N14 exhaust system, so follow us through. As you can see, original on factory, probably the only car in the country with a factory exhaust. On an M Pulsar. On the only <laughs> Pulsar left. So basically all the way back through here, we're gonna get rid of these resonators up to the flex joint. And that's gonna be our exhaust system today. So let's crack on and do it. So we've already got the rear muffler off the Pulsar. We're gonna have a look at what we're replacing it with. This is an X-Force exhaust system. It's a barrack, so it's got the controllable barrack system to reduce the noise, reduce the decibels. We need this for the race series because we have to stay under 98 decibel at a number of traps. Good thing about it is it's controlled by a key fob through this box. Pods in your cigarette lighter. Easy to put into the car, easy to install. Good mod if you need to keep things quiet. We're here today for X-Force. We're racing out at the Pulsar Series at Sydney Motorsport Park. We've got our barracks fitted on the back of our exhaust system, which has all been done by X-Force. It's a two and a quarter straight through. So this is to make sure that we don't get pinged for going over decibel level, but it's also for our performance advantage because we've got very tight regulations for the cars. So we've only got intake and exhaust to play with. So far, the car has gone really well. We've managed to get it into the top 10 on its first ever outing. So we haven't tested, we've just come to the race today and we've gone racing. So we're getting ready for race two, let's see what happens. So we've had a pretty successful weekend with the Jones Way X-Force Pulsar. We've run it from basically being a complete build over two weeks with no testing, to getting here to Sydney Motorsport Park, running the car, getting up to eighth position in one of the races. Uh, we've had some mechanical issues which we've managed to fix over the weekend. So we're looking forward to the next round where uh, the car will be more sorted with weight stripped out of it, some more power and uh, some more upgrades around the car as per the regulations. So thanks for the guys from Jonesway and X-Force for getting us here. Cheers.